Hey everyone, welcome back to How It's Really Going with Shana Record. Today, I wanted to share some final thoughts for now on the whole online ethical marketing rabbit hole that I've kind of been in in the last little while uh, and just sort of put a bow on this topic for now uh, so that we can get back to that. I want to get back to um, back to my regular sort of business coaching, uh, online entrepreneurship kind of thing. And this is absolutely a part of that for sure. Ethics, online ethics in marketing and in the coaching industry absolutely is a part of that. But I feel like that's kind of been the focus for the last few episodes. And I do have some final things that I want to say about this whole topic, uh, just to for me, just to sort of wrap it up in my own brain, as well as um, here for you guys. And I want to start by saying that this topic is huge. Like I've barely scratched the surface when it comes to talking about online ethics and marketing and business on social media and all the things. It is really, really big. And I, as much as I want to continue to keep learning and I will, it's not something I can fully go into and put my whole self into to learn every single nuance about online ethical marketing. It's just, it's not my, it's not why I'm here and I'm here to help people start online businesses. So it's important for me to know and understand, but it's not my space in this planet to be the advocate for this solely. I really want to learn. And I really want to be able to make better choices for myself, my business and help my clients in a better way, but I'm not here to become an expert in this, in this, in that specific space. There are people who are doing that work and I'm so, super grateful for that because I'm able to learn from them. But as far as like my messaging for my business, sure. I will talk about this from time to time. I will continue to bring awareness to things that I see need to change as you know, like this podcast is called how's it's really going with Shana records. If I feel like I need to talk about something, I will, but I don't want it to be the end all be all for this podcast. This is not a podcast or a YouTube channel about unethical marketing. This is about how it's really going as a 40 year old, something, something going through all the things in life and trying to build a business and be successful. Uh, and that's really what I want to get back to. But before I get back to that regular programming, I wanted to just put a bow on this topic. So it is a huge topic. Uh, it will be an ongoing thing that I will continue to dip my toe into and learn. And really, you know, there are certain accounts like Ash Rising that I'm following just to understand better. And when I say it's a big topic, like you guys, this stuff is connected to, if, if you do the deep dive that I've done, you'll see that there are marketing practices that are, that stem back into classism and racism and white supremacy and, and capitalism and all of these things. A lot of these things that I had to actually like go and research, like what is capitalism? What is classism to understand what they actually really were? Like I've just scratched the surface on some of these things and it is a bigger topic that would require someone to spend a lot of time uh, to really understand and, and know it all. For me, I, I want to learn what I need to learn and I want to be better, but I can't continue to go down the rabbit hole because I'm losing sight of what is my business? And that is to help online entrepreneurs really grow a, st a solid foundation for their, for their online business. So yes, part of that will be understanding the ethics and what's ethical, but it's also understanding what software to use, how to create a social media uh, brand. How do you show up online? Like there's those things that I just really want to get back to. And this is the other thing. It's not something this, this topic of online ethical marketing is not something that we're going to change overnight. There's a lot of really bad practices that are happening in the online space. I've been guilty of them. There's there's lots of coaches who haven't done any kind of research on this at all and don't realize that they're doing some of these practices. There are coaches out there who don't care and are doing them anyways because it's making them lots of money. Um, so it, it's not something that the industry is going to change overnight. This is going to be an evolving conversation. I think the more conversations we can have, about this is going to be great. Like not just me, but other coaches just recognizing this and talking about it and how it's showing up in their business and the changes they're making. I think that's great. Uh, and there are people out there who fully focus on this as part of their business. Um, so there's lots of people who are, you know, taking this topic on 
and, and really full time bringing light to it, which is, which I think is amazing, but it's not going to change overnight. So it's something that is going to be ever evolving. And I think we can all just do our best, uh, learn as much as we can and and make changes as we can and learn. And that's kind of where I'm at. It's like, I I'm going to be making changes. I've made a bunch of changes. I'm going to continue to keep learning. And as I'm learning, if there's other things that I need to shift and change, I will, you know what, we're not going to be perfect. I'm not going to be perfect. There's going to be things that I'm going to do that are probably not going to be ethical that I don't even realize. It's almost like, because what happened to me when I first started learning about this stuff is I actually froze because I didn't know what I should or shouldn't be doing. And I stepped back from my business, which was fine. I'm glad I did that because it did bring me a lot of clarity in kind of where I wanted to move forward and how I really wanted my life and my businesses to run. And so I'm glad I took that time, but it does sort of kind of catch you off guard when you start learning about these things and you kind of go, Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing wrong? And you kind of freeze in that. But since then, like that moment, I've realized like, it's not, we're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to, we're all figuring this out as we go. Um, there are no real rules right now in the online industry, the online business industry as to there's no standards. There's no set of rules that we have to abide by right now, which makes this difficult because, what's right and what's wrong. Everybody's view of what's ethical and not ethical is different. It's all kind of more opinion-based. I mean, sure, there are some, you know, the deep-rooted stuff where when we're talking about, you know, racism and classism and capitalism and all of those things, I definitely feel like there are some fairly clear right and wrong things in those spaces, but there's a lot of really gray, fuzzy lines um, as you look at this from a broad angle of all the things that you see people doing online and like what is right and what's wrong in some of these areas, you know, it's kind of a personal opinion, you know, what's ethical for one might not be ethical for somebody else. And it's like, at, at some point, like what is right and what is wrong? Like, you know, when you look at the medical industry or the law industry, like they have regulations and standards that anybody who's a lawyer, or anybody who's a doctor or anybody who's a therapist that they have to abide by those standards or they can lose their license. They can lose their practice. Um, they, there's punishments if you don't follow the standards on the online business space, whether it's coaching or service providers, anybody who's just starting an online business and saying, Hey, I'm here to help you in this way. There's no real rules around it. There's no standards. There's no, there's no code of ethics or practice th practices that we have to abide by. There are people who are benefiting from that greatly and they are able to do whatever they want. There are people who charge $85,000 for three months of private coaching on Voxer. Like, you know what I mean? But there's no rule that says you can't do that. So who's right and who's wrong there, right? So it's like, really, there's a lot of really big gray areas. Uh, I think that in time we will have standards. And I think in time there will be something that's going to have to come into play here because it is starting to get out of control. And I will say, I think one of the things that is going to help change this industry for the better is the consumer getting smarter the consumer starting to read through the the bullshit lines of you know online marketing persuasion and 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 fake you know numbers and people who are word salad all over you so that you buy their program and not really know what you're buying like consumers are getting smarter and starting to see through that stuff that's great that's great for the industry because the smarter we can be as consumers we can stop investing into some of these coaches and some of these businesses who are practicing unethically unethically because we're seeing through the lines we're seeing we're seeing what they're doing and we realize that it's you know it's not really the best way to invest you know with that being said we we have, it, it starts with awareness on all of our parts, whether you're the business coach or the entrepreneur, online entrepreneur, or you are the consumer looking for support from somebody in the online business space. One, as the business coach, awareness as to, you know, what are the, what are, what is ethical in your, in your point of view? What isn't ethical? What changes do you need to be making in your business? How can you show up better? How can we be better for the industry? you know, really understanding that and creating that change in your own business and having that awareness that some of these practices are actually not uh, great and make those changes. And then as consumers, having the awareness to making sure that you're vetting 
the people that you're looking to invest into, making sure that they have the actual knowledge and skill set and, and invested time and hours and client results before you just hand over their money, asking exactly what it is that you're paying for. You know, one of the programs that I invested in with a coach, uh, it was a monthly subscription kind of thing, but it was $1,500 a month. So it was a fairly big investment. The, there was no even outline of the programs that I was actually going to be taking part in. It was like, oh, we just kind of make them up as we go. That should have been something that I looked at and said, okay, I'm not investing in this because I actually don't know what I'm getting for the money. So that's on me because I didn't vet that part of the, the contract. I didn't vet that part of what I was signing up for. So you know, we as consumers need to be smarter about what it is we're investing in. And we need to be asking for the details. What are your qualifications? What client results do you have? What exactly are you going to be teaching? What exactly am I going to be learning as part of your program? That's starting with the awareness piece on both the service, like the entrepreneur side, being aware of what's right and wrong. And again, like I said, there is no real hard line right now of what's right and wrong, but you know, it's a gut check, right? Like if, if someone tells you, and I have had a coach way back when, tell me this, to fake results in order to show people that you are successful. And your gut check says, oh, that's gross. I don't want to do that. That doesn't seem ethical. Like, you know what I mean? You can decide in that moment that that's something you're not going to do because it doesn't feel ethical, right? So having the awareness of what feels right and wrong to you uh, and implementing that. And I think as you're learning about ethics and online marketing, you're going to have those feelings around the things that you're learning. You know, when you hear about somebody doing something, does that feel good to you? Or does that feel like, like a total douchebaggy thing to do? And then make that decision for your business, whether you're going to do that thing or not. So I think that awareness really starts with us. We have to be aware so that we can do our best as business owners and so that we can make changes to really for the industry. Because if we don't start making these changes, the consumers are getting smarter and they're going to stop investing in online businesses. And what, what is that going to mean for the industry? People aren't going to trust the industry because there's been so many people being taken advantage of so many people having bad experiences that it's going to slow down. And I actually feel like that's already happening where people are slowing down and investing in online businesses because they've been burned or they've heard a story of someone being burned. We have to be better for this industry as a whole, or we won't have this industry. And when the standards do come, it will be like harder for these people who are doing these unethical practices to actually continue to have businesses. So we need to start doing these things now so that when this stuff comes, we're not racing around trying to change everything in our business because now we would get punished if, you know, we would have some, some punishments if we did these things. The other thing I want to say about this whole deep dive that I've done in the online marketing ethical space is there's also a discretion that if you decide to go down this road and look into this yourself and learn, which I think everybody should, I will say there is a discretion you need to have with the people who are actually educating about this, because I do see that this topic is becoming trendy and people are, I do think that there are people who are talking about online marketing, specifically the coaching industry, and they have very negative, they've had very negative experiences within the industry. And so now they're, it's almost like they're turning their businesses into this, uh, let's talk about ethical marketing kind of business. And they're really bad mouthing the industry talking about these things, but they're doing it from a perspective of, Hey, I'm getting a lot of views and likes on this stuff. I'm going to keep talking about it. Cause obviously people want to learn about it. And I do believe people do want to learn about it, but I also believe that there are people who are starting businesses in this space of unethical marketing that are doing it because they see an opportunity Just saying it like it is. I'm not there's, I don't have any specific names that I would ever mention, but I am getting that vibe from some of the things that I've seen uh, on YouTube and, and some of the podcasts and stuff that I've listened to and some of the Instagram accounts where, you know, there people see an opportunity. I see that with ADHD stuff too. I'm in the algorithm on Instagram for ADHD stuff. And I see people who are creating businesses on ADHD awareness because there are people who are, it's a hot topic right now. And there are a lot of people who are coming out of the woodwork with ADHD. So they're getting a lot of views. They're getting a lot of, of, of people interested in their content. And so 
it seems like, hey, let's just talk about this stuff because it's working, you know? I'm just saying you've got to really, if you're going to go down this road, really have this awareness that everything that you're hearing isn't always necessarily either right or coming from the right place. There are a lot of, there, and, and it's and it's just because of, of this ethical stuff, there are a lot of people who have been burned badly by coaches who are doing things unethically in the industry. And those people who have been burned by those coaches, and I'm, I'm one of them, I'm, I've been burned by a coach myself. It is, it does make you a little bit jaded and you do want to kind of talk about it and you kind of want to be angry about it. We have social media and it allows us to show up and talk about these things. And sometimes these things get views and likes and attention. And then people take that and, and run with it. And it's not necessarily, I guess what I'm saying is it's not always coming from a place of, Hey, let's try and educate people in this industry so it can be better. It's coming from a place of I'm pissed off. And I really want to talk about this stuff and really, you know, talk about how bad the industry is. And so you kind of have to discern between those two things. And I've just noticed that myself. I'm like, Oh, I don't necessarily agree with everything you're saying, but you seem more angry than, than anything. Right. So you kind of have to sort of look for that. If you're going to go down that road, you have to really see what is actually uh, what we believe to actually be unethical and where we want to make those changes in our business versus just taking everything we're learning. And then like, cause basically you're, if you, if you were to listen to everything that's out there about online business and marketing and everything, like you, you would basically want to just burn your business to the ground and get out of online business altogether because it feels like nothing is ethical. And so that's where it's like, you know, we have to just listen, learn. It's just like I said at the beginning of this, this is not something we're going to solve overnight. This is not something that you're just going to learn all of these things. And then tomorrow have a completely ethical business. Like it's, it's, I almost think it's impossible to have a completely ethical business because there's so much to this topic, but I do think that we have to just at least try and do our best. And that requires us to be open to this topic, do a little bit of our own research and look at our businesses and make necessary changes, uh, take responsibility for our businesses and how we're operating them and make moves that are moving them in the right direction so that the, we can do that collectively so that the industry as a whole is better. And that's really all we can do. At this point, because like I say, the topic is so big. There's so many things. There's no standards. Everybody's kind of just doing what they feel is right. Um, but the more we can educate ourselves on what actually is right and what maybe isn't, the, I think the better we can we can be. I'm at the point where I have a few accounts that I'm still going to follow that talk about this topic. I am. Uh, I did remove myself out of some Facebook groups where it kind of started getting a little bit toxic, where there was a little bit. Uh, maybe too much of the angry kind of um, conversations happening and really just focusing on learning from those who are really here to try and make the industry as a whole better uh, and, and educating from a place of awareness, not an educating from a place of trying to bring someone down. Uh, so I've really tried to remove myself from those things that don't feel super great on the topic and keeping myself in places where I feel that they are truly trying to educate in a, in a solid way, continuing to learn and adjusting, but I'm not going to become an advocate where this channel is all going to be about ethical marketing. That's not, that's not what I'm going to do. I want to get back to talking about what I love, which is helping people start businesses. And that's the thing, like there's a whole topic in the ethical space of, is it even ethical to start an online business based on, you know, knowledge and experience you have on something, if you're not actually certified in that thing, or you didn't go to school for that thing. And that's like a whole topic in itself. And I've even said myself, I do believe you should be formally trained in something before you get online and start creating a business around it. But as you'll hear, I did a podcast interview and it's coming up uh, next week with Lori Turner, who's a social media expert who is self-taught. She taught herself all the online stuff through the years. She's worked with some really amazing uh, celebrity entrepreneurs and she has built their Instagrams and, uh, and literally increased their biz businesses based on the, the social media services she provided them. She didn't go to school for social media. There was no school for social media. 
Um, she, she self-taught, but she has the hours of experience. She has the results from clients, multiple clients. So in my opinion, she's qualified to become an online coach, but others would say she's not. So as you can see, like it's a gray area. And my opinion is, is if you have created a result for yourself and other people, whether you've formally been trained in it. I do believe in the whole 10,000 hour analogy that you need to have experience. Like I teach online business because I've not only built, I've built two six figure businesses. I have my graphic design diploma that I have in graphic design and marketing. Um, and I teach the technology. I teach the strategy of online business because I've also invested in many, many coaches, some great, some not so great, um, that have taught me how to build businesses over the years. So it's like, what qualifies and what doesn't. I have my thoughts and my opinions. You might have yours and they might be different, but what's right and what's wrong. And I think that's like where we can really get into some of these big gray areas in the industry. So as you can see, not everything is like super cut and dry. And so we just have to do our best and that's all we can do. And that's what I'm doing moving forward. I am going to continue to learn if I do have anything else I want to share with you guys about this topic on the podcast. I absolutely will. Um, but this podcast is not going to be a podcast or a YouTube channel about ethical marketing. We've had some conversations. We've brought some light to the topic. I've made personal changes in my business and, and I will continue to do that as I feel fit, but I don't want this to be the only topic of conversation here. I'm still really passionate about helping new online entrepreneurs really get established in the online space. I'm here to learn about ethics so that I can help my clients in the best way possible for them. I am looking forward to getting kind of back to some regular programming. And um, next week we have Lori, who I talked about is going to be on the podcast. Uh, we have a great conversation. We talk about social media trends, uh, what she sees coming into the social media space for online entrepreneurs. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And as you guys know, I have launched the membership. So I took away my $2,000 high ticket group pro, um, program for online entrepreneurs, new online entrepreneurs. I got rid of that and I turned it into a monthly membership so that people can come in, get support from a program as well as a, a coach, and they can come whenever they want. They can leave whenever they want. There's no contracts. It's $79 a month. It's called the Build Your Business with Shana Insiders. And I did that specifically because of a lot of the things that I learned about ethics in the online industry. And I really wanted to create a space where people felt uh, safe to invest, but also not trapped into something that they can't get out of if they decide, you know, for whatever reason that they want out. So I am really excited about that. We've got some great new members who have joined us in this past week. And I'm really excited to grow that and uh, help you guys in that way. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share. I just wanted to give you that update on my thoughts and feelings. I get a lot of you guys, you know, since talking about this, a lot of you have messaged me personally, thanking me for bringing this to the conversation. And I, I appreciate those, those comments. Cause you know, this is not easy stuff to talk about, but um, I don't want it to be the main sort of theme that comes from what you're getting here. <laughs> you know, um, I do enjoy learning and talking about change and making things better, but I also, um, also love talking about online business and technology and strategy and things like that. So we're going to get back to some of that in the, in the coming weeks. So Thank you guys so much for being here. If you have any questions or comments about this, you're always welcome to DM me on Instagram at I am Shana Recker, or you can leave it in the comments on the YouTube channel. And I'm happy to, to have a conversation about any of this stuff, any of this stuff. This is just my opinion. This is not none of anything I've shared on any of this, uh, is, is fact. It's just, it's just what we're seeing and what I'm noticing and how I'm feeling about it. And that's, that's pretty much it. So I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.